Hi friends. Has anyone ever called you the apple of their eye? I hope so. I remember my grandparents saying that to my sisters and me. The idiom apple of my eye in English means someone whom I cherish, someone whom I love with all my heart. Did you know that that phrase occurs several times in the English translations of the Hebrew Bible? One example is Psalm 17, 8. It says, guard me as the apple of the eye, hide me in the shadow of your wings. In Hebrew, the original language of the Hebrew Bible, the idiom does not refer to apple, but to the dark part of the eye or the pupil. And that word for dark part is similar to the word for man. So you could also understand it as the little man of the eye, or if we're going to use inclusive language, the son or daughter of the eye. The idea of the son or daughter of the eye is based on what you see when you stand very close to someone and look into their eyes. If you stand close, and look intently, you see your reflection in the other person's eye. When we stand close to God, that is to say, when we have an intimate and personal relationship with God, then we can see ourselves in God's eye. In other words, we see our truest identity as cherished children of God. So no matter what others say about us, no matter what we might tell ourselves, we are first and always someone whom God loves with all God's heart. We get that same message if we interpret the phrase as the dark part of the eye or the pupil. The pupil is the seat of vision, and vision is one of our most valued senses. Now, of course, there are people who are born blind or who lose their sight, and they learn to function very well. We have a family member and several friends who are blind, and it always impresses me at how well they can navigate life and make it seem so easy. And I think the reason it amazes me so much is because I know how much I value my eyesight, even though it's not that great. I am very nearsighted, and I have pretty severe astigmatism. I've been wearing corrective lenses since I was three years old. When I was in college, I spent an entire day not wearing glasses or contact lenses. It was part of a project for a psychology class on aging. I was trying to put myself in a similar position to an aging adult who might be losing his or her eyesight. As you can imagine, it made everything difficult. Everything from crossing the street, to ordering food at the lunch counter, to reading a book, to greeting friends on the sidewalk were much harder, if not impossible. It made me feel vulnerable and inadequate and uncertain. In addition to giving me insight into the experience of older adults, that experience also helped me to appreciate my own eyesight. You know, just as we value the pupil of our eye and the ability to see, so God values and cherishes each one of his beloved children. God delights over us. God sees us. God knows us. God cares for us. And God will never forsake us. By God's grace, God's unconditional, unmerited, unlimited love in Jesus, we can see ourselves in God's eye, not as the person we've been, but as the person we can become. And we can know that we are valued and cherished as God's own beloved children. Thanks for listening. I'll see you again soon.